welcome to the first episode of The Crossover Show, the show where I cross over with my friends and kind of go make them a version of their show. Today, I'm with Ryan for Ryan and Sadie's Food Review. I'm super excited to kind of produce a version of their show. It's really fun to watch as they go through and try stuff from all, all over the world, things that are weird, things that are odd, and yeah. I'm excited to be here. Very excited. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Ryan and Sadie's Food Reviews. What are we having today, Ryan? Well, let me tell you, Sadie. Today, we're trying. Hey, some- Ryan. I'm not Sadie. Oh, right. We have here Nathaniel Hansen. That's me. Over at XVU Infinite slash XVU Systems. Yes. XVU Systems. Go check it out. Link in the description. Also, depending on where you're watching this, there's probably a different introduction, so you should totally watch both versions on both of our channels. So You gotta watch both videos to find out what happens in those videos. But now, getting down to business, in all seriousness, Ryan. Yes. What are we having? In all seriousness, we are taking a trip across the globe over into Japan region, uh, a.k.a. Japan. And we are having a beverage and a little snack. And as most restaurants, uh, you get like a drink first. Sometimes they set down a water, but today we are trying something a little different. We have a Japanese peach flavored soda um there is some sort of fun thing about this and i don't want to spoil it for you i think it is under the cap i'll try to have you open that uh while i kind of explain a little bit of what's going on i got these two frosted mugs we'll pour these uh we'll pour the soda in these mugs here this is unlike any soda bottle you've ever seen it has a little bead. I think there's a bead in the middle, and that's how you open it. The bead will shoot through the soda and open. I'm so scared. Go for it. I think. Did nope. it? Did it work? Nope. I'm gonna try to get. Sounded close. Ryan. Oh no. Your turn. Oh, I, I broke the cap. Oh no! <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's okay. It's not okay. It's right. not okay. Where is it? Oh yeah, the, wait. Open. To open. Pop. Wait a second. This comes out. Oh, oh, oh okay, this okay, comes okay. Out. gotcha, 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 gotcha. That comes I, out. I got this. Oh! I'm a professional. That is so <laughs> cool. That needs to open it. Oh my goodness, so now there's... A bead in there. There's a, there's a metal bead or a marble inside our soda. Oh, you, oh, actually, it stays right... I don't know if you can see it. It stays right in the top there, just rolling around. Right here. No, stop focusing on my face. There we go. Look at that. All right, so I'm gonna pour us some glasses of this peach sangria flavored Japanese soda made with real sugar. Oh, interesting. Very fizzy. Now, do you get the the marble after? They should do this. What a... The marble has blocked my flow of soda. (laughs) Uh, Oh, wait. Maybe this isn't that much soda left. (laughs) They should do this. They should do collections where you can't see the the marble, and then you get the marble after, and you can collect marbles. If you could still do that. So we have our two... I love peach Oh, wow. That is very peachy. Um... How do you feel about peaches? I love peaches. How do you feel about the song about peaches? 
It's okay. It's an okay song. <laughs> so here we go. We're going to give it a little sip. That's really good. Hmm. It's not overly sweet. No. I'm always worried about soda just being overly sweet and just tasting like syrup. Yeah. And it's not too mm. carbonated. So it's like not one of those ones that are going to make you burp. Maybe you burp a lot. Um, it's it's very mild in that regard. I'm a fan. Hmm. Do we rate this? Yes. And do we rate it now or later? I rate it right now. Okay. Um, out of marbles? Yep. Out of 10 marbles, what do we think? about this peach sangria Japanese soda with a marble in it. Now, are we ranking it against other peach sangria? Yeah, all the other ones you've had. Flavored with a marble in it? Yes. Uh, well, then this is a 10 out of 10. That's pretty That's pretty high. But that's pretty... if we're ranking it just sodas. Okay. I would have to rank it more like, probably like a seven or an eight out of 10. Okay. Which is still pretty high. That is high. Um, and I like that rating. I'm actually going to give it a seven as well because it's not, it's not too sweet. Um, I, I think the peach flavor is actually really good. Sometimes I feel like you can mess that up. Uh, so I feel like they did a very good job nailing the peach flavor here. I'm giving it a seven. Nathaniel, I think, is giving it a seven as well mm -hmm. for the pan, uh, the sangria, uh, peach flavored soda. Seven out of ten marbles. Seven out of ten marbles on that one. And now, we're just gonna skip the main course and we're going straight to dessert. We Is have another way to do it. No, we're going straight for my favorite little character, the Yellow Hamster Man. Um, we have Yellow Hamster Cookies. Yellow Hamster Cookies. Check that out. I'm just gonna move out of here. So kind of there we go. Check that out. Little Yellow Hamster Man, have no idea, probably doesn't have a name, but we're going to call him Yellow Hamster Man. Um, and it's all in Japanese, so I have no idea, but it looks like some sort of white chocolate uh, and chocolate drizzle like wafer cookie. Uh, so, though I can't read it, I'm assuming that, because, that what it says is that by eating it we will turn into Yellow Hamster people. Yeah, that or it's not made for human consumption and only Yellow Hamsters. So this could just be straight up Yellow Hamster food. Ooh, here you go. I like it. They come in kind of decent sized little bars. So, already, I'm a little concerned. Oh, so I see it looks like white chocolate, and I'm not the biggest fan Ooh. of white chocolate. See, I love white chocolate. It's very sweet, and I have a sweet, I'm a sweet dude. So, what I am a fan of, though, is I love wafers in general i love wafer cookies i like kit kats i like anything like that yeah so i think it's gonna be okay and the color palette this is giving me Ooh, is this is really it cool. kind of looks like and like oreo made this uh like i can't tell but this is really neat oh look at that look at that right almost in focus come on there we go Here we go. Hmm. I'm not feeling any more like a yellow hamster person. So I, I, I don't think my idea is correct. Yeah. I think it's m more likely yours that it's either for them. I forget what your other idea was. I think that's just it. <laughs> Maybe it takes a while to kick in. Who knows? But um, so far it's not overly powerful. Yeah, it's very just. Hmm. The white chocolate's not too bad in there. No. It tastes a lot of the wafer though. I think it basically just reminds me of like, what are those called at the grocery store? It's just like you can get like strawberry, chocolate, vanilla. Oh, those wafer like, things. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. It tastes wafer, like those. The, I forget what they're called. They're probably just called wafer. They cookies. probably are. Um, it's like that, but it's just covered in a very light white chocolate, which is okay. Yeah. In my book, I, I would I, I would consider myself a fan. It's definitely middle of the road. I've had, I think I would like a little bit more cream in it personally, um, because it is. It seems like the wafer does 
there's a lot of wafer taste. You almost bite it and you're like, am I chewing on sawdust right now? I don't know. Um, besides then you realize it tastes good. So a little extra peach behind it. Um, it's not that bad. I, I'm going to, I'm going to give it when I think about wafer cookies, I'm going to give it a, a six though. And I'm going to tell you why I think it was just a little underwhelming because I'm a sweet tooth and I wanted it to be better than it was. And it was just like, it was okay. I think I've had better wafer cookies. Agreed. I, I agree. Are we going to rank it out of yellow hamster? Yellow people? hamsters. Yellow hamster people. I gave it a six yellow hamster people out of 10. I think I'll go with a five out of 10. Ooh. It's not, it's not something I ever have to eat again. Yeah. I would, I would enjoy trying having this again though. But yeah, uh, that one, give was, or take, you've done it once. You don't need to go back. But also if someone was like, this is all I have for dessert. I would be like, of course I'll eat it. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. You I'm know? not picky. But I wouldn't go out of my way to try to buy it. Right. If it's good for yellow hamsters, it's good for me. Agreed. All right. This is so fun. thanks for having me on. You're welcome. And thanks for, for replacing my other half today in this video. You're welcome. This is fun. Now we do this thing where we go. Who are we going to share this video with? Everyone? Yeah. Friends, family? Everyone. Yeah. Friends, family. Random strangers? Random strangers. The people you cross on the street just be like, hey, look at this video. Uh, yellow hamsters, if you yellow see Yellow hamsters, 100%. Let them watch it a few times. Yeah. Because we want them to be involved. Absolutely. And even if they're not yellow. Yeah. And people from Japan. Yeah. If you know anyone from Japan, send this to Pretty them. Pretty much anyone in the world. Yeah. Just send it to all of them. Just share the, share the video. Share it. Share it. Sharing is caring. Yes. All right. Also like it. Like. And subscribe to both of our channels. Subscribe. And remember to watch both of the videos because they have different intros. They do. They're, they're different in their own way. It's pretty cool. How do we uh, end this? We end this by going, all right. Thank you for watching this episode. I'm Ryan. And I'm not Sadie. And we'll see you next time on Ryan. Not Sadie. And Sadie's <laughs> food, food reviews. reviews. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Okay.